I've been thinking about this problem since uh, since yesterday, um, and I just want to share a couple of different ways that I was trying to do it and, and see what you thought. Um, so here's a, a card, uh, two cards. Um, so I think this is how uh, um, everybody but me <laughs> tried to solve this problem. So. Uh, but I, I think that I came up with something different, so I thought I would uh, uh, bring that up. So if we start with the two cards, we, we establish that for any random two cards, there's one and only one card that makes a set. So um, when that third card uh, comes out, then we want to talk about the probability that that card is not a card, the card, that makes a set with these two. So. Um, when that third card comes out, there are um, and there are not 81, not 80, but 79 cards uh, possible. There's one card of those 79 that is um, that is the card that makes that set with given these first two. So there's 78 that aren't. So we're finding the probability that it's not that card. Okay, so then. This fourth card comes out, and um, we want to know what's the probability that it's not um, going to make a set with any of the existing cards. And unless I'm mistaken, I think this next part is a little bit different because I was thinking we've already considered this set or this this pair, and therefore it's necessary third card. The only new possible sets for this fourth card are the sets that would be made with any new pairs. So we've already considered this one pair. Now there's only uh, the pair that this new third card makes with this card or with this card. So there's two pairs possible. So then this card uh, would need to not be, there's 78 uh, total, would need to not be either of the two cards that would make a set with this pair or this pair, so two pairs. So 76 cards out of the 78 will not make a set with the two pairs uh, that were made possible by adding this third card. Now we bring in this fifth card, and um, we want it to not be, there's, there's 77 cards left, we want it to not be a card that will complete a set. We've already considered uh, sets possible with this pair, with pairs with this card, and so the only new sets that are possible for this card to make are sets uh, from pairs made with this fourth card. So this fourth card can be paired with one, two, three cards. So uh, three cards, uh, are, there are only three cards that can make sets uh, from the pairs possible with this fourth card. So there are three cards out of these 77 that work, so we want this card to not be any of those three, so there are 74. And we can continue this, and, and we do get this pattern. Of course, there's one less card from the pool of cards that we're drawing from, so 76. Uh, and then it needs to not make a pair. Like, we've already considered all these pairs back here. The only new pairs possible are pairs with this new card. And there's only one, two, three, four of them. Uh, four less than the 76 would give us 72. We can see the numerator is going down by two, and the denominator is going down by one. And so we could continue this on. Went ahead and skipped all of me copying and writing all that down. But um, you know, each new card that we deal, let's say this card, the the only uh, sets we don't want to complete are the sets that this card makes. With the pit, with the number, uh, the cards before it, because we don't consider any of the the pairs that say this card can make with these cards. We don't consider any pairs that don't include this card. Um, so then, I don't know. I, th I think you see where I'm going with that. But um, unless I did something wrong, um, this came out to be like 0.45 or something in that neighborhood, and that seems really off. So uh, I don't know. I wondered what, what you thought of that if, uh, if I was making some kind of a mistake or whatever. Um, but I also had another much more complicated thought. So I'll share that with you. 
so in this other way, I, I thought about uh, thought about the probability in this way. So I thought of the cards being lined up like this and then taking the first one and making a pair with the second one and then um, thinking about how likely is it that the the card that needs that you need to make this set here is not in the remaining ten cards, and then doing the same for this, 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 getting down to here, and then you know how likely is it that this card is not the set the card that you need for this set, and then of course you wouldn't go with a pair of of the first card and the last card because there's no more cards left to make a set with of those twelve. So. So here, um, the first one, and I'll just uh, I'll list them up here. Um, how many ways are there to have these remaining ten cards not to be uh, the one card that you need? Um, so we want to take these ten cards out of the cards that are not the card that you need to make that set. So there would be um, 78 cards that uh, do not make a set here. Or 70, um, there's 79 cards left. 78 of them don't make this set. And so we wanna choose 10 of those. And that's how many ways we can uh, take 10 cards out of the 78 that are not the card that you need to make the set. And then we would divide that by 79 uh, C 10 at least that's what I'm thinking uh, because there's 79 cards left in total after you um, kind of take these these this, the 81st and the 80th one to be a pair um, then you move on from there and you take this guy um, with the third card and obviously this one is out of the pool of cards that you would choose from uh, so there are now um, 77 cards. So there's 78 cards in total um, if in, in the rest of the deck. Uh, one of those cards is the set card, the card that you need to make that set. Uh, but uh, 77, of them, 77 of them aren't. We want to take nine of those and find all the ways that we can take nine of those out of the 77 uh, and not have them uh, make a set and then we take that to uh, there's 78 cards left and we're going to see how many combinations of nine there are so that'd be the probability of uh you know it, it not making a set with the first one not making a set with the uh not making a set with the second one with the third one and then we keep moving on to the the fourth one the fifth one the sixth one seven eight nine ten and so on um so that comes out to be So I'm thinking it, it comes out to, to look something like that, and, and this, uh, the, the probability that I'm on there uh, would be, um, after we paired with the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, this would be the tenth card that we've made a pair, uh, and these two are not going to make a set, so there'd be 70 choose two ways, um, you know, 71 cards left uh, in the deck, 70 of them do not make a pair, so 70 choose two over 71 choose two, um, probability that neither of these cards makes that set. And then we move down to the last possible pair we would consider because we wouldn't consider this pair um, and that would just be that there are 69 cards that are not set makers and there's 70 cards left in the deck uh, after we've taken these out. Um, so that's what I was thinking. And then, of course, you would have to then kind of discard uh, this card, just kind of consider it out of the deck, and then do the same thing for the second card and move it down here and make this the last possible set. Um, now, for that one, I noticed uh, when, I, when I started counting that out, that came out to be actually the same as this guy right here, 77 choose nine. I'll put that like that. That's what we're considering right now uh, out of 78 choose nine because it's kind of the same situation as this first one, having passed the second card and, and being considered.
consider to be a pair with the third card. We want to kind of take these cards out of the, the total pool, meaning that there's uh, 78 in the total pool and we have nine left and so on. And, and the pattern would continue. So we would have this all over again. So we could just copy that. And then for, it certainly seems reasonable to me and I know this seems just insane to try and actually calculate, but I just thought, I, I wondered what, what you thought. Um, and you know, we would keep doing this until um, the third to last card, because we wouldn't consider the last card, uh, the second to last and the last card to be um, a, a pair, and a, therefore a possible set, because there would be no third card uh, left. Um, but in that way, the, the first card is made to, to be paired with every other card, the second, third, and, and of course the last has been made uh, to pair um, or be considered as a possibility for a set um, uh, with, with every other possible pair. So there's no really need to consider it as part of a pair because it's been part, you know, considered uh, a possible part of one of the possible sets. So we would only need to kind of copy this for the first through the tenth. So we need to con continue this pattern through the tenth. We would, um, I don't know, I guess multiply all these probabilities together. But um, it's so much that I just thought I would share it and see what you thought. And you can just say that that's too much or that there's some flaw in that reasoning. But um, yeah, I just wondered what, what you thought. So I will stop copying these, I guess, because you know what I'm going for here. Um, but yeah, uh, any of your thoughts would be uh, fun, I'm sure. So thanks for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon.